Hello and welcome, Zara Shama. Thank you very much for your time and that you're taking some, some time to talk about your amazing work uh, which you gave us for the charity auction to us and also a bit about yourself. Um, at the moment, I, I got you in London and I would like you to introduce yourself to our, to our viewers and listeners just for, for a short time, please. Yes, thank you for this nice introduction, Michael, and I'm happy to be here with you. Uh, I'm Sarah Shamma, an artist, mainly a painter, and I live in London. And we met in London um, quite some time ago, actually, and I had the great chance to see your exhibition by that time, which, was, uh, which is called Modern Slavery. And this is also where, where the work is from, which, which you can see on the screen at the moment. And this is also the work which you donated for our charity project. Could you tell us a bit about the work? And the series, please. Yes, this work is part uh, of a series, as you mentioned, uh, Modern Slavery. And uh, it's kind of uh, drawing, sketch, oil sketch drawing, uh, with, uh, paint, with painting a realistic eye in this uh, drawing. So I've done a series of this drawing. Maybe I've done uh, 18 uh, uh, drawing like this. And uh, this was part of the exhibition. The exhibition was uh, about five big paintings, uh, not representing the women who experienced trafficking in, in, in the UK, but inspired by the story that I've heard from these women, uh, the one that experienced trafficking in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done these big paintings, five big paintings. Uh, and the rest was this uh, drawings. Uh, 12 or 18 drawings. The idea behind this drawing is uh, painting the eyes mainly because these women who uh, were experienced trafficking and many other atrocities, the main, their main fears is to be watched and to be, you, they feel that they are haunted by the eyes of the viewer, by the eyes of the, the people who buy them and sell them to another customers. So this is one of their main fears. And since I'm interested in painting eyes a lot, and for me the eye represents everything, that's why I decided to do these drawings. I don't, I'm, call, I'm calling them drawings, but they are oil sketches. Yeah, and as, as, as you can see, you also use quite a raw canvas for this one, right? I mean, the material yeah. where, where you've drawn, does, does this has to do because you want the lines of the, of the face really to be seen as a sketch? Yeah, exactly. That's why I use the raw canvas, as you mentioned. And at the same time, uh, because I want the eye to, to I want the glow in, inside the eye to be uh, eye-catching. Because the raw canvas, the color of this canvas is very neutral. So when I draw the light in, inside the eye, it uh, makes the eye stand out. Yeah, it, it looks even three-dimensional from, from here, if you see it. You really have the feeling that the eye really sticks out and is, is not 100% part of the sketch. It's a bit like it's, it's sticking out from, from the work itself. Exactly. Like if it's separated from the, the work. And that's how I like to work mainly. I love to create this kind of contrast between the, real, the realistic thing and the abstract uh, thing at the same time and different kind of texture in the same painting. So if you see the, the drawing made by an oil bar, and it's uh, very rough and very uh, quick to do to work in it. But at the same time, painting the eyes, the eye, the one eye, made by a very thin um, brushes with a thin oil color. So in a very slow and uh, multi-layered way. So this contrast in creating the painting, and also I, 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 um, I live the same contrast in the process of my work. Is that also the reason why you put this really abstract part around around the eye? Because you want you want the eye to be focused on even more. Uh, the truth is that this abstract part around the eye, as you see, it's a big brush stroke with a very thick uh, lay, uh, oil paint. Yeah. Uh, it makes me feel that this big brush stroke is floating above the canvas. So. This also will create another dimension, and another kind of contrast. Yeah, it's, uh, it sticks to the out from, from the sketch, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And tell us, tell us a bit about the works you're doing at the moment and what are you working on at the moment? I'm working on uh, several projects together. They're supposed to happen next year or the year after because of the situation, some of them got postponed. So one project is uh, a collaboration with uh, um, a music company called Rambert. So I'm creating a new series of painting related to dance. Mm -hmm. And another project is uh, an, a solo exhibition that will be happen in the Dalish Picture Gallery in London. Okay. And it is uh, about, uh, I, will, I will be inspired by the, the collection of this Dalish Picture Gallery to create a new uh, portrait of uh, the old masters that uh, they have in this uh, gallery. So it's uh, also a very exciting project for me. So, so I'm preparing for this too. So you will be relating to pictures that are in the gallery and then <clears throat> recreate them in your own style. Do, do I get this right? Uh, no, not the pictures in the gallery, but I will be recreating a portrait of ah. the artist who create this picture, like a modern portrait of Rubens, another modern portrait of Rembrandt, maybe. So yeah. something like this, but inspired by uh, the real paintings that uh, the Dulwich Picture Gallery uh, own. Okay, okay. That, that sounds really great and interesting. So I very much look forward to be able to travel again and uh, hopefully see lots of exhibitions and art again. Sarah, this actually is it already. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you that I could steal a few of your very valuable minutes. And thank you so thank much you. for this, this fabulous donation. And it was great talking to you. Thank you very much. Very happy to talk to you again.